Hello again. Dan here to continue the vinyl collection series. Uh, I just shot the peas and I uh, figured while I was down here I'd maybe get another couple more in the can. So we'll continue on. Uh, starting with the cues, which is a very, very small section. Uh, just a few records. And um, I've actually shown these first two very recently. Uh, Quicksand, their debut slip from 93 and the Manic Compression from 95. Both of these were recently reissued by Shop Radio Cast SRC Vinyl and uh, these are both limited editions. Uh, each of these are 500 copies. This is on a green and black swirl. This is a green and yellow which looks really cool. Um, this series is really to show you what I haven't shown you in vinyl updates, so if you want to see more on these, I'll I'll leave a link to the videos that these were recently f featured in, because uh, they look pretty cool. And uh, if you haven't heard of Quicksand before, you've probably heard music that uh, has been inspired by them. And the only other record in the queue section, Quiet Riot, Metal Health. Now, this is a, a gold promo stamped copy. And uh, I'm pretty sure I got this for a dollar somewhere. But, uh, you know, come on, feel the noise. You gotta have it. Now, this is the only REM that I have on vinyl. This is Document. As you can see, it's the Capital Vault reissues. And the only reason that I have uh, this copy is because there was some crazy sale on Amazon where uh, several records were super cheap. Um, I think this is like two fifty, three dollars I mean like dirt cheap and I don't want I don't know why but uh, yeah I was like oh crap yeah I'll get that and uh, it doesn't sound bad the capital reissues are hit or miss but uh, I was pretty happy with this one especially for a, a, the price of a used copy maybe even less so yeah document I have a lot of REM cassettes, I just don't have a lot of vinyl. Uh, Radiohead, of course, and Rainbows. This you can find very inexpensive, uh, usually around $15. It's not a fantastic pressing though. Um, most of the vinyl copies that I've seen, they look very scuffed and whatnot, and uh, listening to them, there's usually some, some surface noise. I mean, the music sounds really good. Uh, they did a special edition of this on a double LP, 45 RPM. That sounds amazing. The pressing quality leaves uh, something to be desired, uh, which is unfortunate. Luckily, it's not that expensive, but um, this record deserves better. It's really, really good. If I could now afford to get that special edition, I certainly would. It was pretty expensive when it came out, but uh, it's a lot more expensive now, I think. But I have heard it, and it sounds fantastic. This is the most recent, uh, the King of Limbs, 12 inch, which is also pretty inexpensive to get, and uh, it sounds much better. This is 180 gram vinyl, uh, sounds really good. There's only four songs per side, so that helps. I also have the limited edition of this, I, I wasn't going to miss out on that. It was like $50, it was a really, really neat package, and that's a double 10 inch, so I'll be showing that when I get to the 10 inch records. but. Uh, I do have that special edition. But I listened to both. This I don't even think that I've listened to before, but I just had to have it because of the cover. Uh, this is Raffi's Christmas album. I remember when I was in the studio with Caddis Fly recording their album Set Sail the Prairie. The producer had a copy of this. It's, uh, it's just sitting on, uh, I think it was a, an electric organ that he had in the tracking room. And I just thought the cover was so cool. So when I was slipping through the 50 cent section and saw it, I just got it just to have. So this was an interesting find. Um, this is Rage Against the Machine Renegades, which is a covers album, which I think came out yeah, right before or right after they first broke up in 2000. And um, I got this for, I think, $3. It's like two ninety nine, And it skips at one place, but uh, other than that, it was 
really good condition. This album s sells for, I don't know, 20 or more now. But I got it for just a few bucks, so that's pretty cool. This is another one that I bought just based on the cover when I found it. Uh, this is Rare Earth, uh, Willie Remembers. And it's just a insane gatefold. Um, it's the photo here. There's just a lot going on that's uh, pretty weird. And uh, these guys look like they're having a pretty good time. Uh, maybe they've taken a few substances or something like that. Uh, and their music, I mean, it's been a while since I've listened to it, but I remember it being better than I expected. But I just thought that the uh, art concept was very, very interesting. Let's see. Armadillo there, this giant face, kind of looks like the Wizard of Oz, an old Willy. Uh, I think that's actually a mannequin there, but yeah, it's just weird. And I got it for a dollar, I think, I think I got that at Jive Time in Seattle. And I had never heard of Rare Earth before, but I've, I've heard them spoken about in the VC a few times since then. And this is another one that I got for 50 cents just because it looked interesting. Uh, the Reddings, The Awakening, I thought that was a cool conceptual cover. And um, I didn't know what to expect of the music. Um, but it turns out it was, was kind of good. Um, and uh, it's some children of Otis Redding. Uh, Dexter Redding, Otis Redding the Third, And uh, this was released in 1980 on CBS. So not a bad find for 50 cents. And we'll end this on a on a high note. Another one of my favorite bands, uh, Refused. This is Songs to Fan the Flames of Discontent. And this is a reissue from 2010. And this is on red vinyl, which is limited to 500 copies. It's in the Blake sleeve and everything, but you know what red vinyl looks like. Uh, it sounds pretty good. And I also have two copies of Refused, The Shape of Punk to Come, which if you have not heard this album and you like any form of alternative rock, hardcore, post-hardcore music, you have to listen to this because it's amazing. And uh, it's influenced a lot of music that's, that's come after it. This came out in 1998 uh, and it was their last album. They broke up shortly after it came out. But it truly prophetic, the name, The Shape of Punk to Come, because it really did uh, shape what came after. Uh, it's a fantastic, seminal album. I had an older pressing of it. It was on a single LP, and it didn't sound that great. Thankfully, they reissued it in 2010, remastered it for vinyl on a double LP, and it sounds really good. Um, so when this reissue was first released, uh, there was 500 copies on blue vinyl available from the Epitaph store online and uh, I, w I managed to get one of those copies. Again, you know what blue vinyl looks like. It's transparent blue vinyl and uh, it's pretty valuable now but uh, definitely going to keep it. And uh, I also got the uh, Record Store Day 2012 issue of it on red vinyl which was limited to 2,000 copies. And even this is uh, pretty valuable now as well. But uh, I think it's still available on Black Vinyl. Shouldn't be that hard to get. So if you don't have this album, I highly recommend it. So I have some more records in the R section, but uh, this video is getting a little long, so I'll stop it here and continue with those next time. So thank you for watching and enjoy your music.